Cancer. This reading is going to be for Cancer singles. Not involved, not thinking about anybody, but open to um, dating and, you know, getting into a relationship possibly once more. Okay. This is for November 9th through the 16th, you guys. Let's see what your options are in love. As I was shuffling before I actually started recording, I saw the Empress and the Emperor. So we have um, Taurus, Aries, Energy. Okay. Going on here. We have the Star card, Healing. Looking for that person that you're destined to be with here. The Hermit. The Hermit looks for the person that is for them. Okay. Ten of Cups. Completing other happiness. So the Ten of Pentacles as well. And the Ace of Wands here. Want to build a legacy. Look at the Judgment card. Deciding that you're going to go for your own abundance. Starting over with that Ace of Pentacles there. All right, Cancer, let's see. What are your options in love? Cancer Singles, November 9th through the 16th. All right, you guys. Ooh, okay. So you have Aries, you have Aquarius here. Um, I feel like you're just looking for your, your stability. Like you're not looking for anybody in particular at this moment, but there's somebody that's looking at you. And that is an ear sign, okay? Um, Aquarius, Gemini, and um, or Libra here, okay? But this is somebody that um, can be very argumentative. Somebody that is probably a commitment foe. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. Um, they like to talk their way out of things. They probably do a lot of fast talking and not say anything at all. This person. King of Swords, again Aquarius. This person is hung up. We have Pisces here as well. I feel like this person doesn't know how to come towards you. Because whoever this is, whoever this is, they know exactly what it is that you want. They know exactly what it is that you will accept. They know you're going to stand your ground. They also see you as a stable person here. So at this point, they know they either have to bring it or walk away. So right now, they haven't decided exactly what it is that they're going to do. They're like, they're stuck in the hangman mode, okay? They're being stubborn. They're not wanting to give you what you want. They want you, but they're, they're not ready to like fully say, okay, I'm all in. In the meantime, you are you are somebody that is doing your own thing. You are doing your own thing and you are being like rewarded. Whatever it is that you're doing that involves other people lots of other people. I almost feel like you're a mediator or you're someone that um, breaks up arguments or the best thing I can say is a mediator um, because it looks like, you know, when people are having these these conflicts or these arguments, you step in and all you have to do is say a few words and it kind of like dispels and it, it, you know, 
alleviates all of that tension between people, I feel like here. You don't like to argue. You don't like confrontation. And I feel like this person that um, that is scared to come towards you, basically, they, they may not like confrontation, but they will go there to prove their point. I feel like, and I feel like sometimes it can be very hurtful when they say things. They don't really use any tact. They just say whatever they feel like is going to win them the argument at that time is the way I feel with this person. Hmm. Now we have Virgo here. Could be a Capricorn as well. Hmm. I feel like this Virgo energy. I feel like this Virgo energy is you. Because I feel like you're getting, you're getting to a point where um, you're quite stable and secure in yourself. I feel like you have a family and you may have even have a family with this person. You may be um, divorced from this person. And I feel like now you're not even looking at them as an option. You're kind of like, you know, you're not looking for anybody in particular, but you're open to it. The hermit looks for their, the person that is meant for them. And I feel like you're not going to accept anything less than, than what you feel like you deserve here. And this King of Swords knows that. Whether male or female and vice versa for the King of Pentacles. Um, it's just the, the energy that's being exhibited here. Could be either um, gender, could be same sex as well. But yeah, so I feel like the person that's coming towards you, you are not paying them any, any mind whatsoever. I feel like here. I don't even know if you're willing to give them another chance, but that is what, um, that's the option that I see here. Okay. And then another, the, another option is you could possibly have, um, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn that's looking at you while you're looking, you know, for the person that is right for you. You may not even see this person coming. I feel like. And I also feel as though this King of Swords sees you as somebody that is very, very attractive, very passionate, um, and feels like other people are wanting you. And they feel like one person in particular, like they feel like lots of people, sh you know, could be attracted to you. You could be like talking to other people, but they feel like they're, they're really insecure about one particular person though. I feel like here. Okay. So those are your options for the week of November 9th through the 16th. And I will be speaking with you soon, Cancer.